Expeditionary learning schools are the highest performing schools in a number of U.S. cities. Since 1993, expeditionary learning has transformed hundreds of schools to improve achievement. What do you think? You know what either of these means? And develop students who are problem solvers, critical thinkers, and active citizens, ready for the 21st century. Let's get it started. My name is Hamler Fernandez, and I'm a recent graduate of the Washington Heights Expeditionary Learning School in New York City. And now I am a first year at the University of Chicago. Crew was a big part of my high school journey, and it really helped me like get to where I am now. We would work on personal statements, and we would learn to manage our time for application deadlines. We would help each other find scholarships. Crew definitely gave me skills to build a community here. It really taught me to be confident and outgoing. And just like in Crew, I'm really working on just supporting others, finding how we can persevere and dedicate our time to something is very important. You learn so many things on textbooks. You learn so many things reading, so many things writing. You have to do it for so many different classes. But when you do something with your hands, I think that you remember it better because it's just different. Keeping kids engaged in school can be a challenge, but there's a nonprofit doing more than just capturing their attention, it's getting them to care about their community. A few years ago, EL Education kickstarted Better World Day. It's a day to showcase students engaged in acts of service. At Amelie's school, they're increasing community awareness about composting. Stefan Rodriguez, good looking young guy right here. Could not speak a word of English when he moved to the United States at age of nine. Today, he's one of the top students in his senior class at Washington Heights Expeditionary Learning Schools, or WHEELS. Last month, he and his classmates marched down the streets of Washington Heights in New York City through cheering crowds. The march was to the post office where they mailed in their college applications. This son of a factory worker, who didn't speak much English, just six years ago won a competitive scholarship to attend Dickinson College this fall. My name is Simone Refrezo and I just got done doing my 12th grade passage portfolio and I know myself pretty well as a learner and the fact that I know that I actually need to see things in order to be able to grasp the concept of what we're learning. I learned this through myself as well as through Mesa considering it's an expeditionary school of learning through the arts. For my exemplary reflection, I chose my pop art intensive based off of Andy Warhol's block prints that he did of Mary. Passages are a good idea for kids to do because I feel like when you can actually present your work like that, then you're really ready to go out into the world to be able to present yourself. This is my senior expedition for horror makeup. And this is my friend Santana, who let me dress her up as a zombie. I'm Kanithia Wilson, and I'm an alumni of Genesee Community Charter School. And currently, I work for the University of Buffalo, the Department of Community Health and Health Behavior. I'm an instructional support associate, and I'm a researcher. Working in crew settings helped me step into the work that I currently do. We're looking to improve health outcomes as it relates to those who may be exposed or at risk for HIV and AIDS. Being a part of a crew helped me to understand other people's needs and how to best support them um, and trying to figure out the solution that could help the individual but also the community at large. When I think about crew, I kind of go back to this idea that you're looking at the individual but you want to be able to kind of connect the dots at how to solve population level problems. <laughs> 